Hello everyone, welcome to UN Digital Class. Good afternoon to all of you. Today I am going to present a new topic about stock exchange. So, stock exchange is a place where there is an easy way to earn money, also there is an easy way to lose money. So, what is that? Now, I am going to discuss about that. So, stock exchange is an organized market to enable buyer and seller to effect their transaction more quickly and cheaply in listed securities. The basic economic function of a stock exchange is to provide marketability of long term instruments. Hence, stock exchanges serve by providing a forum for free transferability of shares and other securities held by the public. So, stock exchange is an organized place that means a place where standardized rules and regulations are implemented by the regulatory bodies and uh, those investors they want to trade or they want to buy and sell shares they can go through by following that rules and uh, regulation. And basically stock exchange provides long term securities or debentures or stocks which are traded for the transferability of shares from surplus point of view to the borrower's point of view. So, there is one definition given by Securities Contract Regulation Act in the year 1956. So, that defines a stock exchange as an association, organization or body of individual whether incorporated or not established for the purpose of regulating, controlling the business of buying, selling and dealing in security. So, as per Securities Contract Regulation Act, stock exchange is an association of persons or it is a body of individuals or whether that is incorporated or incorporated or not. It is established for the purpose of buying and selling of shares, securities, debentures, bonds, etc. History of Indian stock market. The origin of stock exchange in India can be traced back to the latter part of 18th century when the transactions were limited to loan and the stock market of East India Company. The first organized stock exchange was established in July 1875 as an association of native brokers as Native Share and Stock Broker Association at Mumbai, which is now known as Bombay Stock Exchange. The second stock exchange came into existence in the year 1894 under the name Ahmedabad Share and Stock Broker Association on the line of Bombay, which is now known as Ahmedabad Stock Exchange. Next come to 1908 that is Calcutta Stock Exchange Association. So, if we really focus on the history of Indian stock market then basically during 18th century when East India Company conducted their rules in India during that period 1875 one stock exchange which is known as Native and Stock Broker Association which was established and which is now known as Bombay Stock Exchange. So, first 1870 5, the stock exchange was established. Then 1894 Ahmedabad Stock Broker Association which is now known as Ahmedabad Stock Exchange on the line of Bombay that was established. And then 1908 one stock broker association or stock exchange was established that is known as Calcutta Stock Exchange. In 1956 government came out with comprehensive legislation known as Securities Contract Regulation Act to regulate the function of a stock exchange in India. And at present, there are 23 stock exchanges. Under this, securities transactions have been gone, tremendous transformation and growth in terms of a number of listed companies, net worth of listed companies, number of shareholders and a market capitalization. So, when Securities Contract Regulation Act was established by the government in the year 1956, then everything was followed through formal rules and procedure or guidelines and uh, the stock exchange came into force. And uh, at present there are 23 stock exchange and uh, which provides transformation of shares or capital from one point of view to another or where there is buying, selling and dealing of shares, securities, debentures or bonds etc. Next we focus on the basic characteristics of stock exchange. It is a place where existing and listed securities are purchased and sold. So, basically stock market is 
come into secondary market. That means those shares are already listed in primary market. After entering into the primary market, these shares get priority to be listed on stock market or stock exchange, where existing listed stock exchange are traded by the buyers and the sellers. Second, it is an association of persons, whether incorporated or not, which are regulated by SEBI. So, stock exchange is an association of persons or it is body of individuals or a company, whether that is incorporated or not, but that is regulated by Securities and Exchange Board of India, which is known as SEBI. The trading in stock exchange is strictly regulated and the rules and the regulation prescribed for various transactions. So, basically stock exchange is an organized market. As it is organized, that means there are standardized rules and regulations are implemented. So, the trading in stock exchange are regulated or conducted by formal procedure, rules or regulation or guidelines implemented by the regulatory bodies. Both genuine investors and speculators buy and sell shares. Basically, in stock market or in stock exchange, genuine investors are easily accessible or the speculators are also enter into that stock market for trading of securities. The securities of a corporation, trust, government, municipal corporation, etc. are allowed to be dealt. So, here everybody, every entities or organizations are the priority to be dealt in the stock market, whether that is mutual fund or whether that is any corporation or trust or government, whoever may be, they are get the priority to be dealt in the stock market. Next point, it ensures the marketability of a security by providing ready and a continuous market to the investor in respect of a securities held by them. So, basically stock exchange ensures marketability of a security. That means, there is easily and quickly buying and selling of shares as and when needed from company point of view or from investors point of view. Then what is the form of organization of Indian stock exchange or the structure of Indian stock exchange? Most of the stock exchanges in India are incorporated as association of persons under Companies Act as a non-profit organization. So, basically stock exchanges in India are incorporated as an association of a person. Those are stock exchanges in India, they are purely incorporated as an association of a persons. The organization of a stock exchange varies, 24 are public limited companies, 4 are companies limited by guarantee and three are non-profit organization. So, at present there are 23 stock exchanges. Out of 23 stock exchanges, there are two national level stock exchanges, which is known as Bombay Stock Exchange or BSE, and another one is National Stock Exchange or NSE. Out of 23, two are national level, so rest 21 are regional level stock exchange. So, out of that 21, 40 are public limited companies. 4 are companies limited by guarantee and 3 are non-profit organizations. So, these 21 are regional level stock exchange that is company limited by guarantee or public limited company or non-profit organization. All stock exchanges are managed by a governing body which consists elected broker or member director except NSE or OTCI, public representatives and a government SEBI nominees. So, NSE and OTCI except these two stock exchange, other stock exchange are management bodies where there is SEBI nominees and a public representatives or elected broker or members. Next, what is the various functions of stock exchange? So, the first one is continuous market for securities. The investors are able to invest in good securities and in case of any risks, it enables people to switch over from one security to another. So, stock market provides ready and a continuous opportunity for securities. So, continuous market of securities means investors are easily enter into the stock market by following certain guidelines. So, when they invest in various companies or good companies by investing their money purchasing the shares from that particular listed companies and in case any risk is there then the stock broker they provide information that switch over from that and in take the money invest in other categories of stocks of that listed companies. So, there is continuous 
information or continuous marketability of a shares and a securities in stock market. Second one is evaluation of securities. If the stock exchange, the price of a securities clearly indicates the performance of the companies. It integrates the demand and supply of a securities in an effective manner. It also clearly indicates the stability of a companies. Hence, investors are in a better position to take stock of the position and invest according to their requirements. So, evaluation of securities means generally the price which is listed on the stock exchange relating to a particular company, that price provides information to the investor relating to their performance, relating to their growth, relating to the acceptability or demand in the market, everything. So, based upon that, investors are take the information and uh, they will invest based upon the company's price. If company's reputation is good, performance is very good, financial position is good, then ultimately company's price increases and uh, investors get that information and invest in that particular company's listed securities. Next is mobilizes savings. The savings of the public are mobilized through mutual fund, investment trust and various other securities. Even those who cannot afford to invest huge amount of securities are provided opportunity by mutual fund and investment trust. So, in stock exchange apart from buying and selling of shares or securities, investors those are having huge amount and they are not likely to take risks in invest of particular securities or companies listed securities. In that case, they can also diversify their funds by investing in a mutual fund or a different trust companies. Then healthy speculation. The stock exchange encourages healthy speculation and provides opportunity to shrewd businessmen to speculate and reach, reach profits from fluctuation in a security price. The price of a security is based on demand and supply position. It creates a healthy trend in the market. Any artificial scarcity is prevented due to the rules and regulation of the market. So, healthy speculation implies that when company's price decreases due to certain ground or due to demand and supply of the market, in that case investors are having expectation that the price of the share decreases, there is a chance of increasing the price in the near future. So, at the time of decreasing the price, we want to invest our money in that particular company and purchase huge amount of a shares or a huge number of shares and uh, take that if set custody and uh, when the price of the share increases then ultimately the investors they will take more and more profit as the price of the share is determined based upon the demand and uh, supply. So, the speculators they provide information to the investor that there is a chance of an increase of price in the near future. So, during this time, the price decreases. You want to invest your money in this category and take profit at a near future. Next point, mobility of a funds. The stock exchange enables both the investors and the company to sell or buy securities and thereby enable the availability of a funds. By this, the money market also is strengthened as even short-term funds are available. The bank also provide funds for dealing in stock exchange. So, mobility of a fund implies that investor invest their money in stock market. When there is need of a fund, they can also take the fund by way of a selling the securities. So, that also meet the short term requirement as in case of a money market. Different institution, even government or different banks, when there is need of a fund, they can take the money from the stock market by selling up their shares or the securities. So, from investor point of view as well as from company point of view, both are easily accessible. So, that is known as mobility of a fund. They can invest the fund, they can also withdraw as and when they need. Point number 6, stock exchange protect investors. As only genuine companies are listed and the activities of the stock exchange are controlled, the funds of the investor are very much protected. So, it protect investor that means stock exchange is basically regulated by regulatory body and uh, there is proper criteria and uh, only the listed companies they are eligible to trade or to buy or the sell the shares to the investor. So, as there is standardized rules, procedures, criteria everything is there. So, only genuine companies are take the priority to trade their shares. 
so investors are very and very much protected for their amount invested stock exchange helps capital formation stock exchange plays an active role in the capital formation in the country companies are able to raise funds either by issuing more shares through right share or bonus share but when company wants to go in for diversification they can also issue shares and raise more funds hence they are able to generate more capital and this promotes economic growth in the country so capital formation stock exchange helps in capital formation that means company generally issue share for raising funds during the initial stage in the primary market company issue through prospectus can raise funds and when they enter into the secondary market or stock exchange they can also take funds by way of selling the shares or the securities and when company needs additional fund in that case they apply the process of a issue by way of a right issue or bonus share but in case those companies need huge amount for their diversification in that case also they raise funds from the market so during that period the stock exchange facilitates for transformation of a capital or it helps in increasing the capital formation for the growth of the economy liquidity in stock exchange institution like banks can invest their ideal funds in the stock exchange and earn profit even within a short period when a necessity arises these securities can be immediately sold for raising funds hence it is the stock exchange which provides opportunity for converting securities into cash within a short notice so liquidity that implies easily converted into cash basically bank when there is ideal fund and the bank thinks that that is not needed in a short term period then bank invest that fund in stock market in basically high or a particularly top number classes of a companies where they can raise more and more profit within a short period and in that case the bank take huge amount of a profits and a, when there is a need of funds bank immediately sell the shares at a profit and a, take the money and a, utilize for a different purpose so bank as well as investor they invest their ideal fund basically in a top class companies and a, when there is increase of price in the market they sell their shares and within a short period they can get huge number of a, or huge amount of a profit so there is liquidity in stock exchange safety of a capital and fair dealing the stock exchange transaction are made publicly under well defined rules and regulation and bylaws this factor ensure great measure of safety and fair dealings to the average investor so there is a safety of capital and also fair dealing because we already discussed that stock exchange is regulated by regulated bodies which is sebi one government approved organization so investor invest their fund and their fund is also take in safe custody by genuine trade transaction of a particular listed company's shares so that is and everything is conducted through fair dealings guideline or procedure so all are protected and there is fair dealings and there is safety of a capital next barometer of a business pro progress stock exchange functions as a barometer of the business condition in the country booms and depressions are reflected by the index of a prices of a various securities maintained by the stock exchange by analyzing the up and down of the market quotation the causes for the change in the business climate can be ascertained so it is a barometer stock exchange acts as a barometer of a business progress because companies shares those are listed in stock exchange their price increase or price also decreases so this shows the up and down movement so when there is market situation is more positive and uh, there is company share increases and in that case everything shows a positive impact when there is downfall of the market everything goes down and uh, all are suffered a huge amount of a loss so there is up and down movement in the market in every cases and everything that shows the economic progress of the country that's why stock exchange acts as a barometer thank you all